The words are, it's geschmack to do the daf. But this video seems to say a little different. Here we go. It's geschmack to be a yet, geschmack to be a yet. Till it's a lie, 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 geschmack to be a yet. Aha, it's a lie, 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 Andy Y is not a group of 10,000 Yidin. We are 10,000 individuals that come together as one unit. See you in London. Very, very excited. Over 200 people already signed up. There's one more day left. They say one more day to get that schmack a price anyway there's a bunch of guys from here that are going if you're still interested in coming let us know what else do we have oh david feinberg hi it's good to see you welcome back she write emails all the time thank you rebelli for helping us come so far a thousand days ago i've joined the daf Yomi a number of times over the last few cycles generally lasted from a sector for a parak or even less a thousand days ago, I started again with brachas davbeis with the intention of sticking it out for the mesechtas brachas, but not sure that I continue past that. While I can't boast a thousand days straight, or even a thousand daf in a thousand days, as I have some spots where I need to make up. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm not far off from that. When I missed and didn't catch up right away, I followed your system with that kars and admiration. David Feinberg, welcome back, Rib David. <laughs> There was somebody, there was somebody that was very jealous that I, I say, oh, from Brochus, from Shabbos. He's like, it's not fair. Like, you're serious about it. What's the big deal? So everybody could start wherever they want to start and they just go around. The, he happens to be from Brochus. There's people here that are from Chulin. Shalom Aleichem. Good Vachar Chaim Snow. And good Vachar to you. What's your name, Tzadik? Chaim Dov Rubin. Chaim Dov from? Now Afula. Now? Afula. Afula. This, this, I heard about the place up north. So, what are you doing here? You're here for Shabbos. Ah, Givaldig. Okay, welcome. Shalom Aleichem. What's your name? David Slot. Slot Kitten. From? Queens. Queens. Oh, you a Rebbe? Where? What is he you're coming to, to learn some tricks? <laughs> They're all patent. Neil Zundel, even though I made zero dollars in the last five months, giving $26 a month MDY. Uh, Refor Shlema for my son Izzy. Yisrael Alter ben Chava Chana. Wow, they need a big help over there. I went to visit him in his house over there. It's a, the whole day. What? It's Motsu Shabbos. Listen, Sadik, if you can't do this Motsu Shabbos, we can find that Remy Khan will do it in a second. Just let me know. Michael Harbiter, my donation to MDY Monthly is in honor of Eli Delinsky. Where's the Eli Delinsky? He's in the store. He doesn't come as Shabbos. Who persuaded me to join the share without him. This donation, without him, this donation wouldn't happen. Shkoyak. Oh, will the Dafiyomi Shir be going on in Israel over Sukkot? And can I come to one of the Shiurim or do I need to reserve a spot? The way it works, if you haven't been here last year, the Shiurim are generally in my Sukkah on Nachal Noam 2, the fourth floor. It's after davening behind us right over here. So I don't know what time does davening start? Does anybody remember from last year? 9.30 in the Sukkah probably. No, after Peshanas, Halal. 10 o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> what, what? Who, oh, why? Why, what's the point? <laughs> you going Kasach? <laughs> Shachas starts at 8.30 and 10 o'clock it starts. What do you know about 10 o'clock? You remember it's 10 o'clock, Gary? Okay. He's saying if it's not 10 o'clock, you're gonna shut off the, the whole thing, the whole system. Okay. We'll start right now in my house. 
So yes, the Oyelam is invited. We have uh, a guy makes eggs on the spot and pancakes and all. But you have to be part of the shi. You can't just invite your, your, your guests and your neighbors to come. It's a, it's a, you don't have to reserve a spot. Just don't be a chazer and come just eat a breakfast and go. Well, there are some people that's, Gary, that's where you started. I'm serious. That's the first, you came the first day in the shi was sukkahs. Come on, and it worked. You also? Oh, but you're, and you're sukkah, that's right. Menachem Atez sukkah. So, okay, it's fine. Come, come. Eat some. As we approach him, Kippur, and it's time to make a cheshvin of the whole last year, I want to thank you for enabling with 400 plus days continuous learning. I started in the Y in Yuma, middle. I've been able to celebrate 10 plus siyumim, chazar, and other shiur, and more in one year than I have accomplished in a lifetime. I would not have been able to do this without you and your gishmak approach to learning. I wish you and your family the whole MDY global. May we be zoicha to only hear Basur's toivas in best health and wealth and are able to finish Shas together. P.S. Looking forward to celebrating with your upcoming scene with Subas. Best regards, Aaron Meislik, London. I guess he's one of the people that signed up. Okay, so Rabbi Sa, here we go. Yosef Erman, who's still playing basketball right now, 40 shekel a month. Robert Early, 60 shekel. I'm ta- I'm, these are the Israeli guys that, that signed up, so they're first over here. Whatever for Mordechai Seltzer, Yishkoyach, 36. Anonymous, 126. Yitzchak Moshe, 150. This is all in shekel. Obaski Avram, who's that? 50. Azriel Davis, who donated this shas right over here. This shas. Azriel Davis, 100 shekel a month. And Mendy Oyerbach, we already said. Now, here we go. Mark Feldman. By the way, Baruch Hashem, we broke the 10,000 mark. We're 10,400, which adds up to like 100 plus thousand dollars a year. That's very significant. All from small money, it's Kedai to join. Mata, you didn't do it? So how much do you want to do? Just say right now. We got to put you on the spot. How much? $36. Mata, you're a millionaire. What, $36? Mata, you sold all those trucks in New York. Yeah, this guy is a guru. He has like six apps he's working on. $36. How about one of your apps? So I don't want to put you on the spot. Your mom is turning colors. Worse than I turn colors. You better up that right now, mother, if you know what's good for you. You know what? All those days you missed this month, $10 a day that you missed. Mark Feldman, 36. Marvin Schnee, 101. $101. Maurice Tamman, $10. Menachem M. Satorsky, 36. You can do better than Satorsky. Come on. Michael Ferber, 10. Michael Mann, 10. Michael Reiser, 36. Moshe Ben Yair, 52. At least like Moshe Ben Yair. Moshe Braun, 36. Moshe Goikman, 101. Mr. D. Kesselman, 10. Mr. G. Mechlovitz. Oh, Mechlovitz, 36. Netba Incorporated, 101. What's the name of your company, Mati? <laughs> Alexander, <laughs> you're the one that started up. Bumsh- I, don't, I can't even pronounce these names. Bumstein, Bumstein, I don't know, 10. Paul Salter, 36. Perry Dubinsky, 52. Rabbi David Svi Van de Velde. He not only brings a ton, he has that restaurant. He just, everybody that eats there has to join the DAF. $36. Ruben G- Grable, 36. Richard Ide- Idols, thir- 10. Idels, 10. Robert Isaac, 36. Somebody else should read these names. Ron Jowry, 36. Ronnie Gurvitz, 101. Simeon Asher, 10. The item is following me on the, on the screen. Take that off the screen. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Stanley Weiss, 36. Stephen Schwartz, 101. Stephen Rosen, Rosenthal, $200. You hear this, Mati? 200. Stuart Cohen, Conan. What do you give you, Meister, to Mati? <laughs> this is the best, this is the best stucco you can give it to. I don't want to talk about this anymore. People got mad at me that, what, we're going for the small money? They're right. I don't usually collect money. But it's, uh, it, this is all Nisan al Gans's fault. Sora Conan, 10,000. Okay, good. Tzvi 101. William Balk, 36. Yael Walfish. Even the women are giving here, $10. Yaakov Davis, 10. Yaakov Wolf, 10. Yisrael. S W I A T Y C K Swaititsky? 10. Yisrael Wettenstein, 36. Yosef and Zev, 36. Here's Yosef and Zev. He's the one that gave 10. But because Vilensky, where is he? 
because of you. And you gave 10. He says, I'm married. I'm going to give 36. Yosef Wasserman 10, Yossi Klein, the famous Yossi Klein, who's this whole thing, 101. You know how much money this guy gives? He, I, he, gave, he must have given over $100,000, giving $101 to this. Yossi Charner, 36. Zorach Super, 36. Doron Kornblut, the only guy in Hebrew, $10. Mr. Y. Sound, Sounders, oh, Sounders, this is from London, probably, you know? 52. Yeshua Z- Zamler, 36. Ilya Starobinitz, 36. Elliot Pladov, 36. Mailich Tyrobem, 10. Yosef Hillel, Kale, 10. Okay, we'll stop over here. The list goes on and on. Over 240 people signed up. Over 10.4. 10. $10,400 10, already. Unbelievable. Shkoyach to everybody. Tiskel Mitzvahs. Don't forget to cancel your credit cards at the end of the year. <laughs> Otherwise, with 40 day notice. Otherwise, we lock you in and we double it. Oh, it's 21.56. Look at that. Nice. My boy, Sai. No, eh, these, uh, these seats are reserved for people that come on time. Do not. Don't even try it all. Okay. Zoktei Elegi Mishnah. Sponsored by Moshe Cohen, Lizchos, for Libera Torah and Ketira Sloch and Parnasso. We're on Daf Pei Vovim Beis. Sponsors. It's 10 o'clock already. What sponsors? Yeah, these are all the sponsors. The Koilal. Look, the one guy sponsored the Koilal. As much money as 241 people in one shot. Seriously, it's $10,000. For the success of our family, what? It's, no, no. Oh, that's right. $120,000. you are right, you're right, you're right. Good point. For the success of our family the, and that we merit to always crown Hashem. Yeah, Gershon, yeah. And next week, Beis Hashem of Remy Cohen is going to take over from Matzah Shabbos. Lilith Shabbos is Baruch Ben Moshe Aaron. Lilith Shabbos is Baruch Ben Moshe Aaron. If I ask Lachav Chalani Yana for my children, the Mesech is sponsored by Jeff Razin. It's close on my son Yosef Simcha Chaim Ben Sarachano. Refuah Shleima. Oh my official mitzvah motivators. Avram Menashe Ben Chana Bracha Refuah Shleima. Maybe tomorrow I'll show the video of him without his beard. The sponsor of the month, leading the Shmaz Zachary Ben Moshe, sponsor, second sponsor by the Lock and Loving Families, like in Jersey, with his third is the best gula. Third sponsor, Rufu Shleimo, Yecheskim, and Leah. Fourth sponsor is Chos, that Hashem should watch over me and ensure that I'm completely healthy. Admir Ve'esrim, the sponsor of the day, Rufu Shleimo, Avigail, Rishona, Bas, Sara, Rachel. And by David Feinberg, the one and only, in honor of those who began the cycle a thousand days ago, and also those who started 900 days ago, and 800, right? That's what you meant to say. Right. But especially those who started a thousand days ago, and as a schuss to all who need a refuah, Yishkoyach. You're only like 85 characters. If you load AC, you need to stay so much time. Okay, <laughs> you don't have money. That's, the, that's one of the big expenses, the AC. Oh, you're freezing. Shh, don't say a word. He'll turn it off. What are you starting off over here? Says the Mishnah. Kosav lo neder ushvua ain't the alive. So the way the, the Mishnah is going to go, we're starting small, and we're going to build on his Lashen. So we're talking about different Shvuas that a woman might have to make to her husband. Her husband is that we said, he's, he's kind of a mean guy. He says, listen, I don't trust you. Make a Shvua. So what if right in the beginning of the marriage, Kosov lo neder Shvua only alayich. I'm not going to make you swear. No, there's, a, there's a guy that's a very big part of the shir. You all know him if you're in this room. He told me that when he was about to get engaged, his wife looked at him and said, on one condition, I don't do sponge. Don't do sponge. Okay, that was the condition. So over here, they're getting engaged. And he says, you know what? On one condition. She tells him, on one condition. You're not going to make me swear. Sounds like a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a very good marriage. Very good. They, they already have married kids in eight o'clock. Cause of the nether. It's not you. Cause of the nether. Okay. So he writes to her or he tells her, don't worry about it. I'm not going to make you swear. Not, no neder. Ein yochol lajbiya. Okay, so you cannot force her into a shvua. Aval majbiya hu as your shea. Okay, so this is step one. This is the smallest thing. He tells her, I'm not going to make you swear. Aval majbiya is your shea. Let's say he divorced her and she has... And now she comes with Iksuba, but she died, and so she has Yarshim. Let's say she sold Iksuba. Other, I directed it to you. When we got engaged, we spoke about me forcing you to swear, I won't do that to you, but I'll do it to your children. 
I'll do it to your people that you sold it to. Now, what if he adds to that Lashem? Neder ushvua ain't the alayich. That's what we started off with, while you're shy. But he also adds, I'm not going to make a shvua to the ones that inherit you. And the ones who you sell it to. So he can't even go after the Yarshim. But hey, one thing, yes. His Yarshim could go after. He only said, I myself, let's have a, a good relationship. I'm not going to go after you. But my Yarshim are going to force you into a shvua. Now, now we're going to add to what we just said. Neder ushvua ainli v'leliyar shay v'leliboyim b'rshusi olav v'al yushayich. Ve'ala boyim b'rshusi chani yochal ashbiyo. Lehu v'leliyar shay v'leliboyim b'rshusi. So he says, even v'leliyar shay. No one. I can't go after you. Not my yarshim can't go after you. No one. And not only you, but also your Yarshim. This woman, who the husband said, I'm not going to go after you for Shvua. She goes, her husband dies, she comes from the funeral, directly from the funeral. She goes, where's she going to go? So she goes to her father's house. Or she goes to her husband's house back home where she lived until now. And she didn't become in charge of anything in the house. Obviously in this case, the, the, the ones that inherit everything they can force her into Shavu. But if she becomes in charge, from here on out, from this point, the Gemara is going to say from what point? From here on out, for, in the future, they could make her swear. Just because she became in charge now, they can't make her swear about things that happened in the past. Okay. Says the Gemara Shvua Mayavita. What Shvua are we talking about? So the Gemara understands in the beginning, Omer Rav Yudom Rav, comes Rav and he says, Alopotropia Shinasis Bechaye Bala. The, the only shvua that we're talking about here is a shvua that she was in charge of things that she doesn't swear. However, a shvua that she herself caused, how did she cause a shvua? By her admitting that she got, let's say, half the ksuba. So what is that called? A moide b'miktas. That the husband does have a right to make, her, give her, make a shvua because that's her fault. So what is this going on? This is going on in the beginning of the Mishnah. What shvua are we talking about? Says Rav, I'm talking about a shvua. You can't force her to make a shvua if she's in charge of all the husband's businesses, and etc. However, on Gimas Ksuba, as we're going to call it, on where she admits the part of the Ksuba, then you could give her a shvua. Rav Nachman Omar Rabbi Baravu, Rav Nachman argues, Allah began Ksubasa. We're talking about a woman who admitted that some of her Ksuba was paid off. So she's a Maidan Mixas. On that, you cannot give a Shvua. What about other stuff? Of course, you can't give a Shvua. Even when she's in the worst situation possible, she's a Maidan Mixas. Even in such a case, he made a, he made a, a deal with her. He said, I am not going to make you make a Shvua. Even in the case where she's at fault for the Shavu. So certainly when she's not at fault, certainly when she's just an apitropos, and he doesn't trust her, he thinks maybe she was pocketing money on the side, on that of course she doesn't have to make a Shavu. And now the Gemara is going to take it back. They said this in front of Ravashi. And the question is, I understand, how in the world does a woman, the Gemara understands, it doesn't make sense. You're, she's dating this guy, they're about to get married, and also she's going to say to him, listen, I don't want you to make me swear on something that she's not even aware of. Like, oh, if I'm in charge of your business, don't make me swear. Why would she even think about business now? Why would she think about him ma- putting her in charge of the business? Says the Gemara, something that's to do with Reality, Ksuba, she knows about Ksuba. She 
assumes that maybe one day she's going to have to dip into the ksuba. And she's going to go to her husband, listen, you owe, you're going to owe me 200 zuz after you die. After you divorce. Give me now 100 zuz. It's a weird thing. Okay, fine. But I don't want to swear on it. So tell me now, when we're engaged, you're not going to make me swear. But if it's the pshat is, she makes a shvua. She wants to be potter from a shvua if she's in charge of the business. How would she even think of something like that? Okay, so Tesis goes in and maybe they did it afterwards during the marriage. Fine. You read it wrong. The whole Gemara, you're off. You thought it's on the first line of the Mishnah? No, it's on like the last part of the Mishnah. We have, a, we, we have this Rav on a completely different part of the Mishnah. The what? It says in the end of the Mishnah that if she left the funeral, she went back to her father's house, she went back to her own house. She wasn't in charge of the business. You can't force her to make a shvua. But if she did become in charge of this, from here on out, that's the end of the Mishnah. Now the Gemara says, from what point of the, of the funerals, from the spadin, from the time of the death, from when she gets home, from what point is, the, is there no Shavuah? There is a shvua from the time, from the point of death until the burial. No, so we have a machlaikis. So what comes out like this? If you look at the last last word on this amr, shvua ma'avid amr Rav Yudam Rav Rav says al bitropia, and Rav Nachman says al pigem subasa. It comes out that there's no machlaikis at all. Rav is not even talking, he's not arguing with Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman says that we're talking about a woman, there's no shvua even on a woman who admits to some of the ksuba, and certainly there's no shvua on a pitropia. In other words, everybody agrees there's no shvua at all. If he promises her he's not going to give her a shvua ever, it's on everything, from A to Z. Rav was only talking about the, the, the Leviah part. And over here we have a little bit of a chlaikis. Is there, is there a shvuah from the, the time of death? Because that's it. Now it's, she's dealing with the Yisayim. Or not? The what? V'ramasna what? V'ramasna Omar afilu be'imis l'kvur lo'im ashbina. You don't give a shvuah? And Rav says you do give a shvuah? Da'am in ar'adah. Da'am say the kraga. Kraga is, there's, there used to be a, a tax on every single human being. There's a tax. We once had, I believe it was Rav Sa'irim, the brother of Rava. If there were people that were like not proper people, he would go ahead and buy their taxes. Because what happens is, if you buy the taxes, you have to pay the king. It's like, I think I mentioned it back then. Like I know in Chicago, I'm sure all over America is like that, but there's a bunch of from guys that you go and you buy taxes. Like if somebody owes taxes on a house in their store, Arnona, and they don't pay, tax sale. You go, you buy the taxes. So in other words, you pay the government whatever is owed on tax, and the guy that owns the house has to pay you. And you charge him a lot of interest, and sometimes you just grab the house. These guys get a lot of houses like that. Okay, so we have the same kind of idea. You owe taxes to the king on your head, for your body, and then you don't pay it. So then you pay the king. And what happens when you pay the king? He becomes your slave. So Rav Soirim used to get some slaves, these guys, these bums, the bad guys in the neighborhood, he would pay the taxes on their head, make them their slaves, and he tied them to his wagon, make him, make him schlep the wagon. Okay, we learned that once. Says the Gemara, yeah. <laughs> For Mezaynes, if she needs Mezaynes, Velikvura, Mezabnina Beloya Achrasta. Typically speaking, when there's belongings, this, this karka, you sit, you make a achraza. Over here in, uh, in Israel, I don't know how it works around the world, but if the government has a piece of land, you make a mechraz. It's a little different than this. Over here, it's like a blind mechraz. Everybody puts in a number, and uh, you know, you have a piece of land, you make a cheshman, how much you want to pay for it? What? You can't talk, by the way, until you up it. Yeah, so... 
Stay, stay, stay 36. I don't care. But I meant I don't care. Huh? <laughs> he's, he's buying your head. That's what he just said. Learn from Hill. 200 shekel. Hill. Hill does it. You can do it. Hill mechayiv is a is a shirim. Anyway, so I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Where was I? Yeah. Hill, I want you to now change it from shekel to, to dollars. Uh, that hello, you. I didn't see your name yet. What? what what's with you? I, I sent yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Just did. <laughs> okay. Where are we? I have no idea where we are. It keeps moving. This. Uh, we got to do this. Okay. Fine. Yeah, we're getting into it. We're getting into the Mzayna, like Fura. I have no idea where I was. I usually don't lose it. Even even the ADD, the ADDs know how to go back to the ADD. We're holding by the blind mechraz. Thank you. So in our Israel, the way it works is the government has a piece of land and everybody throws in a mechraz. And I, I have a very good friend. Well, okay. The guy, a big, big, a big chosh of a guy. Shkoyach. <laughs> yeah, anyways, whatever. Shkoyach, it's, it's unlimited? Only, we'll take credit cards also. Unlimited credit cards. So anyway, he, this guy, a very famous person from Chicago, did a mechraz, and I believe that he, he won it. It was right next to Schneller, but he won it with, he outbid everybody else, but by mistake, he did 80 million shekel more than everybody else. It hurts, but he made a lot of money. So he still made a lot of money, but 80, the way it worked then, you have a piece of property, you put it up, and people here. A hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. It's like it's like bidding for uh, Leah and Shul. Everybody hears it, and then there's a final bid. But in these three cases, when you need to bury a guy, he's right there. What are you going to do? You're going to start waiting thirty days for a bid to go. Right away, the the quickest sale, you you get, you, you turn into cash. So what happens is, since you turn into cash so quickly, what did the wife just do? She she made a boo boo. She sold a property for peanuts. So you can't give her a shvua. It's going to be terrible. The shvua. Okay, so Mela, these cases, no shvua. Since they have to raise cash very quickly, no shvua. Belayach um, rasta. Loi mashbin Allah, that's what he owes Rav Masna. Okay. Taisus points out here that if, you, if, if you're going to make her swear before the kvura, you have a body there. So either next time, she, people are not going to want to bury. People, you, if she knows that they're going to make her swear, it's going to ruin it. Okay. It's very interesting. I just, uh, the guy that had a kid after 21 years. I, 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 today I saw the kid and I say, Baruch Sha'as Allah Nais. That's what I, I have a bracha now for. Every time I say, I can't believe. It. But he told me his father's a dying this week. It's an interesting Shiloh. A woman, her battery in her car died. So a guy came to help her out. So he put the, the cables on, but he reversed it. And he, and he, and he burnt her computer. Is he chayev or not chayev? They pass and he's chayev. It's like he's trying to, he's trying to help. We just learned it. So sometimes he's trying to help, he's trying to bury or whatever, he's trying to do something and if we if we make takanas against you, people are going to stop doing these kind of things. These these and not in that case, but in okay. Omer Abba, Omer Abchia. This reminds me of this Gemara of Kol Nidre coming up this week. Deloy Neder Udeloy Shvua Udacharim Nei Udacharim Nei. Kitzur, here's the the lashon. Without a Neder, without a Shvua, who ate a Yochel Ashbia? Since he said, I'm not going to go after you for shvua, for a neder, so he can't do it, but the Yoshim could. What if he used a different lashon? Niki neder, clean of a neder. Niki shvua, clean of a shvua. Beinu, bein Yoshim, e meshbim, moisa, hachi kamerlad. Because he meant, minakis mishvuasa. You're completely clean of a shvua. You're right, when he says that lashon, you don't have, you can't make a shvua. That's great. I, I agree to you. The king neder, the kishvua. But if you use the lashon naki, 
Bein hu, bein yarshem ashbi noisa, hachi ka'amer la, because what he meant is, neki naf sheikh b'shvuasa. He's not saying you're clean of a shvua. He's saying to her, clean yourself. Try, show us that you're, you're saying the truth. In other words, as follows. When a person is holding on to a shtar, she's holding on to a ksuba, she comes forward and says, pay up. She yoda al tachtoina. She, she has to prove that what the Lashen is, is meant as follows. She has to prove it. Now we don't know what the word Naki means. It can go both ways. Naki can mean she herself is clean, or she, it can mean that she has to clean, she has to prove, she has to clean the ear, so to speak, with her Shavua. And then Meila, Yoda Atachtoyna, she has to swear. Shalach Reb Zakoi Lamar Ukva, Bein Deloi Shavua. Bein de Naki Shavua. Now another Shita. Doesn't matter. You use Loi Shavua Naki, you can use the Lashen Naki. Bein de Loi Neder, Bein de Naki Neder. Bein Nechasai. If he says, In my Nechasim, Hu eni yachal ashbiya. Avi yashem ashbiya no yisa. Bein Nechasai ilayim. But if he says, These, and he points, This, I'm talking about these belongings. Bein Hu Bein Yorshav Eim Ashbiya no yisa. Then, there's no Shavua at all, and these are Nechasim. Omer Rachman Rav Shmuel. Mishum Abishol ben Ima Miriam. Abishol, the son of Ima Miriam. The Sam Soifer proves from this Gemara right here that if you don't know who the father is, you go after the mother. You, you say, so and so, the son of this woman. Okay? Ima Miriam. We have by Rachel, the, by Rachel, but that's because the father wasn't such a great, well, became a ger afterwards. Bein de loy shvua, bein de naki shvua. Even if he uses the lotion of naki. Bein de loy neder, bein de naki neder. This is Mamish uh, Hatar Sandar, I think. No? Ben Mishan and Dava, Ben Mishan Shvo, Ben the Naki, Ben the Lay Naki, Ben the this, Ben the that. Ben Nixay, Ben the Nixay Lane, Ben who, Ben Yershov, Amish Ben Oisa. Av Ma Esa. Okay, so all these things, no Shvo. Av Ma Esa, Shari Oruha Hama, Bali Param, and Nixay Simim, Lay Param, Abish War. When you come to Yasam, so anything that has to do with the Yasam in this whole list, only the parts that have to do with orphans. You need a shvua, even though they shouldn't read. But this is special halacha when it comes to yasa. Okay. Now, we're going to repeat the same. This is a freebie, shiba freebies. It's, it's literally word for word. Just, masnisa. Some say it wasn't shmuel. Who shmuel? An amaira. Some say it was a braisa. In other words, taken from a tana. And it's, it has, it's, it's an authoritative, well, how you say it? It's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's like a, it's not a Mishnah, but it's a Bryce. It's very much more powerful than we said before. And here it goes, word for word. Miriam Amar. And here the Chsam Soifer says, you see from here, you call the person after his mother. Okay, great. And the story. Interesting. The Pisgah Shuva says that when you talking about the Shvuas that you do for the for, for the woman, so you're gonna say it's based on Tysis over here. I just thought it's very it's fascinating. He says, What are you gonna do? You're gonna make this woman swear that she didn't take anything, right? One of the you tell the, the woman you you stole from me. Okay, so I'm making sure. But he says, every woman steals from her husband. <laughs> right? And I'm like, uh, they use your credit card with Irish Shaw's. They take a little bit here. You tell them not to give your kid. When you're not looking, they give the kid. They're, they're stealing from the husband a little bit. But that's all within the realm of being married. It's normal stuff. So the shvua that you give to your wife is above and beyond, whatever that means. We have to understand, understand that your wife, I just thought it was, it was great the way he says it. Every wife steals. It's normal. That's part of being married. Okay, great. <laughs> Don't tell your wives, but yeah. The official mission sponsor, the schools for living at Torah and Kitina, Stalk and Paranos. Hapigemis Ksubasa. So, this we said before, she's mighty to mix us in the Ksuba. She tells her husband, he says, I paid you. She says, No, you didn't pay me the whole thing. You only pay me half. Oh, your mother makes a house. Let the parallel be shvur. She has to make us a shvur. Eid echad mi ida she pro. What if? Also, th- this is very interesting. Rashi. 
Rashi says, Abigemus Ksubasa, Kidmefarish Vaazo Bimasnisim Gufa. In other words, if I would have read the Mishnah, I would have got there anyways. But Rashi says, don't worry, the Mishnah is going to explain. So in case you're a Rashi guy and you jump to Rashi, what is going on here? He says, I'm not going to explain to you now. Just continue reading. Okay, continue reading. You have one A that says that the, the Ksuba was paid up. She needs to make a Shavu. If you're going after the Yisoyimim or from people that bought the properties, Vishaloi Bifanov, or the husband is not around, he went to another country, like the Parel Bishvu, all these you have to make a Shavu. Oh, and now we're going to explain the whole Mishnah. What does it mean, Pegemis Ksubasa? Pegemis Ksubasa, Elif Zuz. It was a tremendous amount in the Ksuba. In other words, five times the regular amount to say that even this also applies to the additional parts of the Ksuba if you give more money in the Ksuba. So don't say that a Maidim and Mikzas is only in the 200. 200 Zuz of the Ksuba. If she admits to 100 out of the 200, but let's say the Ksuba is 1,000. And she admitted to 100 out of the 1,000. Maybe that's not a Maidim Mikzas. That's also a Maidim Mikzas. I paid you, the husband says. I only got 100 out of the 1,000. Then she's a Maidim Mikzas. The Torah of Yeshua. Eidechad. Mi'ida shiprua. Keitzah. What's the case? The Ksuba is 1,000. The Ksuba is 1,000. The husband says, I paid the whole thing. I didn't get anything. And one aide says that it was paid off. Since it's one aide, so she has to make a shruah. She got the chasim shubadim. So let me just see here. Uh, oh. So Rashi says a beautiful thing here in Dibra Masim Chasim Shubadim. Rashi says, and it's good to know these halachas. We could even do it inside, but well, I'll just say it outside. That a leiva, a guy that borrowed money, has a right to tell the malva, I want you to swear. What if he doesn't say that? So if he says, I want you to swear, the malva has to swear. What if he doesn't say that? So the halacha is, we don't say it for him. You didn't say it. Your problem. You should have said something. But in our case, where the husband is not around, he's gone, he's in a different country. So now Rashi says, Psach picha We have a chiyuv to help a, a mute person. And so he's not here. So we're going to invoke his right to be Mechaev Eshvua, says Rashi, because he's not around. Had he been here, that's his problem. He should have figured it out himself. Zog, the Gemara, the Mishnah. Um, where am I? The husband sells a karka to somebody and she goes and grabs it from the buyer. Was there water? Yeah. 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 How did she go after the Mace, Viniach, and Chasav, the Yisoyim. He left all his belongings to the orphans. Vinifraz, Vinay Yisoyim. She comes to collect the Ksuba from the Yisoyim. With the part of the Shvua, she has to make a Shvua. The Shalai Befanov, Ketzad. Hachlev, Vinin Sayyam. Vinifraz, Shalai Befanov. He went to a different country. And now she's coming to collect. Ain't in a Fras. Elo, Beshvua, Dafizayan, Omid Beis. In honor of my uncle, Rebbe Khan Pressman, as Chos for all the year filled with Mazbrach Hatzlach, I saw that he also donated Ishkoyach as his Chos. To continue being able to support Torah, to finish Shas with rebelling. Reb Shimon Oimer calls man she toivas subasa hayoshem and shmiyun oisa. The Gemara is going to explain what this is. As long when she's collecting her suba, then the yoshim make her swear. They made it about subasa. Hey, now yoshim and shmiyun oisa. Sava Rami Bar Chama the Meimah Shvu Deraisa. So Rabbi Bachana thought it's a deraisa. What does deraisa mean? So over here, very interesting. Rashi over here says one thing, Rashi Tamar says another thing. Over here Rashi says, when it's a shvur deraisa, I, I cannot flip it to the other person. So you do it instead. He thought it's a shvur deraisa. Why? Because moida mixes a taina is a deraisa. And he, he thought we're talking about a shvur deraisa. 
Omar Rav Shtei Tshuvas Bedavar. Very interesting, says Rav. No. You see this pasuk right over here. This is a pasuk by. What are you doing in four minutes, Gary? I need to know. So the the guys the shemesacher he gets paid to watch a, an animal and the animal dies. So the the shemesacher makes a shvua and it says and the owner of the animal should accept this. And the Veloy with the Aleph, the Shomi Sacher doesn't have to pay. In other words, he makes a Shvua, Veloy Mishalim. His Shvua is not to take money from somebody. He doesn't want to get paid by the owner. He just doesn't want to pay the owner. So what does a Shvua do? You see in the tire, what does a Shvua do? A Shvua absolves you from payment. Says the Gemara. So ask Rava, look, this woman, Vihinish Bazvini tell us, is different. Over here, you're telling her to make a shvua to take her ksuba. That's not in the Torah. That's not a Dairaisi shvua. The Raisi shvua is to, to make a shvua and not take. Void. And another thing says Rava, You never make a shvua when it has to do with real estate. You hear this? There's no shvua in real estate. So if I tell you, I gave you two pieces of property, and you say, no, you only gave me one, and you're a mighty of a you don't make a shvua, because it's real estate. A ksuba is connected to real estate. The shibut is on real estate. There's a lien on real estate. No shvua on that. So it can't be the raisa. Elam the rabbanon. So the whole shvua is the rabbanon. Why? The paradaik, the mifra loidaik. When you pay somebody, the husband who pays the ksuba, he, he, he knows. People remember when they pay. The people receiving it, don't the famous story with the Maram Shif, I think it is, everybody corrects me when I say it, he's in the middle of learning, and a guy gave him money, and he opened up his Gemara, who was it? The Rashash. the Rashash, he put it in the Gemara, and then he forgot about it, then he came and he, he, he embarrassed him, he told him that he wants the money, and he said, I paid you, you didn't pay me, and then the guy, then one day he opened up his Gemara, and he saw the money there, he realized the boo-boo that he did, and then the guy said, I won't be Michael unless you make a Shidduch with my kid, okay? So that's that Maisa. I had a Maisa that uh, an employee came to me. He says, you know, you, you shorted me $200 on the paycheck. So I said, oh, that's very interesting because last week I gave you 200 extra and you forgot to come to me. Well, what happened? He says, oh, last week I thought it was a mistake. But now two mistakes in a row. That I, that I couldn't, I couldn't. The part of that really died. Okay, so she's the one receiving the money. When you receive money, maybe you're not so medayik. So we said, okay, make a shvua. Now we have a bunch of interesting shilas here in the Gemara. Shaila number one. She admits that she received payment, partial payment on the ksuba. She's a mother of mixas, but it was in front of Edim. Now, imisa the paro. So, what's the difference if it's the edim, not edim? Imisa the paro, but edim have a paro law, because if it's true that he paid the whole thing, he should have done it in front of edim. Edim is true, misramile. Or no, you know what? He used edim once because they so happened to witness it. But it's not. He's not the type of guy that always needs edim. So it's no right just because there's edim in one part of it, there's edim in another part. Toshma, kol ha nishbaim shabatayra nishbaim v'loy mishalmim. All those who swear in the Torah, they, like we saw before, they swear and they don't pay. Like the Shem Sacher. The guy says, you owe me an animal, you killed it, you didn't watch it well. However, there's a few exceptions to the rule. There are people that swear and they take. Hasacher, an employee, he says, I didn't get paid. Okay, so we, he swears and he takes his salary. V'hanigzol. So, Nigzal, very interesting. Here's the Nigzal. This is Mount, you see this thing? This is literally caught in the act. It says like this, thieves stuffed their pants full of stolen items. That's Mamish what Rashi says. A guy walks out of the house and he, his coat is like this. He walked in skinny, he comes out huge, obese. And we hop, what's going on? Now we don't know exactly what he stole, but we know that he stole. So Melo, the owner of the house says, I know what he stole. He stole my candelabra. Look, it's this big. So he makes a shvua and Shalom Yisrael. I don't know if I said this, it's not so nice. She's not alive anymore. But one of my wife's very, very close relatives, 
gave us a gift, Mamish a gift, and what was it? It was towels with the name of the hotel that we own. <laughs> she stole the towels, wrapped it up, and gave it to my wife. It was already, you know, she's already older. It was no him. Okay, fine. I just, I don't know why I had to say the Misa, but I thought it was, we were laughing. We was like, she was like, she was, ah, she wanted to give us something. She wanted to give us. <laughs> she was re-gifting it. <laughs> she re-gifted it. And it says the name of the hotel in, in embroidered letters, Mamish. Okay, it was like, wow. <laughs> okay. Vanechbal. A guy walks into somebody's house and he comes out with a broken arm, bashed up face. So we don't know. We didn't see the story, but it's very obvious what happened. So he swears and he gets paid for it. We had the other, the other day we had where Rava said, I think it was Rava, no? I don't trust you. Or yeah, it was Rava's wife. Yeah, If the other person is... He has a bad, a bad rap. Uh, people know his, his, he's, not, he's going to swear falsely. The other person makes it sure. So this is interesting. Also, here in Eretz Yisrael, everybody lives like this. You know how it goes. In the Makolet, you have like a, a running tab. And the kids come in the morning, they get a milk, and this and that. When I was a kid, I, my mother, Zechariah Lebracha, in the was ruining I did not mean that as a joke. No, Bamis, Chas Okay, you should erase that. It wasn't even, no, it was a slip. So she, once in a while, she, I don't hold her Rechinuch so much. She said, you're not going to, I'm not giving you a meal. You, I was so misbehaved. You're not getting a meal. That was my favorite. Then I go to the Makolet, buy barekas and chocolate and candy. And she had no clue. At the end of the month, she paid it up. Couldn't, I, could, I never did it like, if you're not going to give me food? So that's what happened over here. She never, up in Kosovo. The guy sends his employees, go take money from the Makolet. She never found out. She just found out now. <laughs> she is mad now. Sorry. I don't know, but the Dalai is telling her. You know, he's... Yeah. No, so you see from, by the way, you see from here that sometimes I slip. I don't mean to slip like that. I didn't mean to get ahead of my mother. She'd be in her Things come out, you know, that's what happens. So, <laughs> serious. So, if I ever like say something to you, Mati, and it just slip, you know, be Michael. <laughs> no, there's a story. A, a guy, a guy, a guy comes at the end of the month here in Israel. He says, What's going on here? Why do I have a 10,000 shekel bill? So, the guy says, What do you mean? Your, your son comes every day, he buys candy, candy. He goes, I don't have a son. <laughs> so, they went to Rabbi Zilberstein, my Zijaya. So the resolution passing, he's chayev. The guy's chayev, why? Because he wasn't careful with his code. If a kid in the neighborhood found out his code, it's his problem. Although, if, you, if the kids are smart, they just go to my call, zero, zero, one. You know that it starts by about one. Ours are like zero, one, two. The sound is, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's their fault, yeah. I don't have a thing in the Makolo. Okay. He's back. You heard that laugh? How you doing, Tzadik? Akiva, where were you? You in Yeshiva every morning? Oh. Because what's the Shabbos? Okay. So basically, it's the, the employer tells his, his workers, go to the Makolo. Go get as much as you want. Instead of me giving you a salary, go get as much as you want. So they say they didn't get. The Makala guy says, I, pay, I gave them. I gave them a lot of food. So you have a big problem here, the two. Now, th- the issue is that it's the, employee, the employer, it's his fault. It's not the Makala guy's fault because he has the right to give on credit. And it's not the employee's fault because he has the right to take it. It's the employer's fault. So in Melo, the halacha over there is, they both swear. The makolet, the guy that owns the store, and the employee, they both swear, and they both get. Okay. If a person admits that he got par- a partial payment, but not in front of Edim, so the Gemara is medayek, shloi be'edim in. This is only when all these things, it says, 
called on Ishbon Shadon, Ishbon Shadon, Ishbon Shadon, Ishbon Shadon, Ishbon Shadon, These people make a Shavuah and they take. Who? A Pagan Bishtar, Shalai Beidim. But it's only because there's no Edim. Beidim Loi. But if it's with Edim, then you don't take. Loi Mabai Koma. Loi Mabai Beidim, the Vadei Tzrich Shavuah, certainly if it's with Edim, then of course she needs a Shavuah because she's not doing any Chesed here by, by admitting anything. There's Edim. But if there's no Edim, since she's admitting to something that he paid a little bit, so it's like he, she's giving him a gift. So maybe maybe she should give without a she, she should take without a Shavuot. Even in such a case, you need a Shavuot. If she admits, she says, listen, I took on March 3rd, I have written down here. That's the best way to do it, by the way. I'm not, if you, I've done it in business. You can try it out. It works. If you tell somebody a date and a time. So we, listen, we spoke May se- I have here in my notes. May 7th at 1.25. We had a conversation and you told me the... You guys, oh, okay, fine. Listen, if you have written down and you have a date. Okay, so that's what she does. She goes, May 3rd, you paid me 22 cents. A little less than a pruta. And May 17th, you gave me 21 cents. I have it written down. And she keeps on going until she gets to 200 zoos. Another Maisel of Zilberstein. This one, I don't know if it happened. Zilberstein Safer says it did. But it could happen. It could have happened. There's a guy who had a Pitzuchim store. And there was a guy that had a store right next door. So every day, the guy would go back, stick his hand in, and grab a bunch of Pitzuchim. One handful, you know. So... At the end of the year, he tells him, you owe me 550 shekel. He says, what are you talking about? He says, every day you go like this and you take. He says, yeah, but every day it's less than a pruta. So they came to Rav Zilberstein. <laughs> All these stories come to Rav Zilberstein. And Rav Zilberstein said, he's chayim. He says, I took notes. Every day I took a note. He took one hand, one hand, I measured. One hand plus one hand plus 365 handfuls. You owe me 550 shekel. So it's not a hand, you know, a little bit, 20, 20 pizzuchim, this. And Rav Zilberstein said, though, he's chayiv, but he was wrong by not stopping him all in the beginning. He should have stopped him in the beginning. Okay, fine. So you have pruta, pruta, but less than a pruta. No. Me, I'm reading, give me the kodai, ki kulei hai. She's so, she knows all the dates and the amounts and everything. Kush the kamra. Or... <laughs> all the all the shysters, they know the trick. <laughs> That's the best trick in the world to pretend you know the exact. You don't you don't round it off. You don't say it was one dollar. Ninety-six and a half cents. That's the oh it's Mama saying MS. No, you're a shakran. You <laughs> don't I just remembered something seriously. Uh, there's a there's a big, big real estate company in America who all of a sudden was going through their numbers. I actually bought a lot of property from them, and I realized that it said. $90,000 for electric, $110,000 for, for, for water. And like, then I re- wait a minute, how's it possible? It's $110,000? It's not $110.65? Dude, everything is zero, zero at then. So I called them out on it. I said, how's it possible? All your numbers are round. If you give me real numbers, this should be, this should be off. And they said, oh, our, our policy is that if it's rounded off like that, then it's not a real number. We just, we're guesstimating. Shkoya. I can also guesstimate. I don't need your help. Like they, they're like saying, this is, this is how the properties, the expenses are X, Y, Z, and they're not, it's not even true. And you have to know their policy. Okay, fine. I just thought I'd tell you this. Why? I did what your room came out. When people do fake numbers, the way to do it is, like you pretend that it's exact. Teiku. Ibailu. Pecheses ksubasa mau. So this is very interesting. That a woman says, a husband comes to her and says, she says, you owe me a thousand zuz. And the husband says, I paid you off a thousand. She says, no, you didn't. But what happened is, the, my ksuba is not really a thousand. My ksuba, I'll admit, my ksuba, the actual ksuba is a hundred. She doesn't admit that he paid. She admits that there's another ksuba. Mao. Now, I have, to, I have to point out that it's not pshat that there's another ksuba. Pshat is that she's saying that this ksuba that I'm holding, oh, we'll see in a second. Fine, the Gemara says, it. Do we say that she's lying so that people should believe her? She's not going to admit to him that, that, that she took a hundred. But she's going to say, she's making up a story that 
we have a, there's another ksuba for a hundred. This ksuba that I'm showing you is not the real one. There's another one. Or Dilma Pagemis might have mixed us. A, a woman who's Maida Mimiksa says, okay, great. She's not being Maida at all. She's saying, you owe me 100% of the second Ksuba. Tashma. So over here, it's pretty clear. It says, the What does Pechesas mean? She makes her Ksuba less. She says, there's another Ksuba. There's a thousand of Ksuba. And she, he tells her, I paid you up 100%. I didn't get, I got zero. However, the ksuba is not this ksuba of a thousand, but it's another ksuba of a hundred. No. So, end of the story. That's the end. We have a Mephurisha Bryce that says that if a woman is Pechesis ksuba, she says that her ksuba is not a thousand. It's a whole, a whole different ksuba. She gets the entire, she gets her hundred without a shvua. Because it's not a mother that makes us. She's saying it's a different ksuba. From that ksuba, she didn't admit anything. Says Gemar ben Maigavya. How is it possible? How could she collect without a shvua? How is she collecting? Bahai shtara, this shtar, this is a thousand. Hai shtar She herself is saying that it's a lie, the shtar. So she can't collect with a shtar, this is a thousand. When she's only, only trying to collect a hundred. Omar Obrey, the rabba, boi meres, amon hoi sili beni levenoi. So what she's saying is, this is the shtar. You see, this ksuba says a thousand. But I had a side deal with you, and sometimes it happens, even in real estate, you write one thing, and then you don't want the government to know, I don't know, this taxes, something, and this cash, on the, everybody in Earth Israel does it, right? They sell a house here for two million shekel, but it, it says only a million. Why? Onto the tish. Uh, nobody knows. Nobody does a kilo. A million is in cash. But that's a side deal. So that's exactly what she said here. You wrote to me a thousand. Why? Because I wanted to show off to my friends. Look what a great suba I got out of him. He's a great husband. He's never going to divorce me. A thousand. And under the table, we made a still a deal that it's only going to be a hundred. Don't worry about it. Only a hundred. Okay. That's Amana. But it's a this suba, and I'm collecting with this suba. Why are you all smiling? You all did that? Under the table, cash? <laughs> neighbor, neighbor. Not me, but my neighbor. Everybody knows one guy. <laughs> One eight says that it's already paid off. So Rami Bar Chama, it's mamish the same story that we had before, to the point where it's hard to understand what we have to explain why Rava said it and repeated the same exact thing. So it's a freebie. The siv lo yakom edechod be ish lochal ovin lochal chatos. Our thing we didn't we didn't have this part that there's a pasuk that says that uh, one eight is not good to for 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 averus and things like that to be mechayivim einchim. The chalav and the chachat is who come. Aid is not good for that. I will come with a shvua, but he could force a shvua maybe. But my mar, come welcome. Shall shnei mechayiv noisim malmoin. Echad mechayiv shvua. One is good if two aidim come and they could force to pay. Then one could force a shvua. Amarava, the same thing that we had before. Shtei chubis b'davar. I have two questions on what you just said. Chada. We call it nishbarim shvat toyim nishbarim b'la mishalmim. When it comes to the shemus sachar, we see in the Torah that. He only swears and he doesn't pay. But Vahi, Nishbaz, when he tells, he's, she's trying to take money through a shvua, so it can't be a deraise. Vahid, a nishba makfir shivu karkais. There's never a shvua in the Torah that has to do with real estate. Elam arav, amid the rabbanon, the whole shvu is amid the rabbanon. Kedei, lahav is daita shabal, in order to relax the husband when he pays up the tsuba. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week. Mar chasimah toivah.